Occhio Maker, occhio, c'è in giro Massimo Banzi, quindi a voi. È arrivato un momento che eh, stavamo aspettando davvero con, con grande emozione. Eh, ieri non abbiamo fatto in tempo, avevamo promesso che sarebbe stato uno dei primi incontri della mattina e così è. Eh, stiamo parlando di una delle prime donne CEO nel suo paese, l'Afghanistan, CEO di Citizen Found and Bright Citizen, fondatrice del famoso Af Afghan Girls Robotic Teams, fra le 100 persone più influenti nel mondo secondo la classifica del Time già da qualche che hanno. È con lei, eh, sono venuta a darci anche la loro testimonianza, le due mentori, Digital Found e Afghan Dreamers. Allora inizio con i nomi sperando di mantenere fede alla pronuncia che mi hanno eh, detto prima, Roya Mahbub, Mahboa Islami e Azada Barakati. Welcome. Welcome here. It's a real pleasure to have all of you here. Starting with Roya, you are an Afghan entrepreneur and philanthropist committed to building digital literacy for women and children in developing countries. And uh, so what, what, what's your activities? Can you tell us more about this? Sure. First of all, thank you very much for thank having you. us here. Thank you to the Mike Fair for inviting us to be here. We are very delighted and it's our pleasure. Um, I have to a little bit mention about, I'm a, my background is a tech entrepreneur and as well an uh, engineer. And I get very fascinated with technology at the age of 16. And uh, I make determined to build, uh, make the technology to be the center of my career. After graduation, I started my own company and later on I started Digital Citizen Fund, which is a non-profit organization which is trying to empower young women in developing countries to have access to technology and also quality of education. We're building IT centers inside of the public schools and we're providing training for age of 12 to 18 that they can learn about digital literacy, uh, learning about um, programming, learning about robots, building robots, blockchain, and as well, we also help them to start their own uh, startups. We have a financial literacy program. So far, we have trained 16,000 of the girls come to our program. Each year, we're taking 2,000 students, and then we also help 100 of them start their own uh, startups. We also, in 2017, started the project we called Afghan Dreamers, which you mentioned, which we are very proud of with this project. We started with six students for a competition in Washington, D.C. And then these six students becoming a symbol of hope and unity in my country. And then we decided to keep continuing with these girls and uh, making their robotics and mathematics be center of our uh, education program. And now we have 15 students. These girls giving us a, a message of hope and determination, and we are really proud of them. Not only that they go participated in the competitions, but also because of them, we could change the view of the Afghan governments, I mean, previous governments, mm -hmm. and then we wanted to build the first Islamic school in Afghanistan, which right now is on hold, but we are hope that one day we can do it. Thank you. Quindi. <clears throat> Ovviamente un aiuto incredibile, eh, parliamo di, eh, di ragazze, di programmazione, eh, davvero di numeri incredibili che eh, Roya ci ha già testimoniato. Mahmoba, how important are knowledge and education to exercise rights and first of all to fight inequalities? Uh, good, uh, working? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone, and thanks uh, to the team uh, Make, Maker Fair uh, uh, and Rome. Uh, so nice to see you all here. It's uh, very important that uh, education maybe uh, make uh, close some gaps and difference uh, between like more in economical situation, uh, uh, close the gaps between rich and poor people, gender inequalities will be removed uh, when uh, people are educated and also uh, there is some uh, uh, close uh, and gap between uh, social uh, distance between people, rich people and poor people, uh, especially in um, some schools in all cities when they are going from poor people and the rich people in the same school, maybe there will not be more difference between them. And also, uh, knowledge will uh, make uh, people more educated people in uh, political 
issues, uh, socialist issues, economical issues, uh, especially for now, uh, as an Afghan girl, I'm uh, talking about the current situation. Uh, the girls and women in Afghanistan are not like uh, the situation uh, in the two years ago. Now, for now, uh, the current situation uh, abandoned and do not allow them to go to a school to work and uh, social activities. But they are fighting for them. It's the uh, result of an uh, outcome of knowledge and education. And now uh, all of girls and the women in Afghanistan are fighting themselves for themselves. And I hope they achieve their uh, hopes and aims and ambitions again. Thank you. Thank you. È importante sempre appunto ricordare quanto la, la formazione eh, sia fondamentale perché poi appunto arrivano purtroppo, possono arrivare dei momenti in cui eh, è necessario lottare doppiamente eh, da donna e da donna in, in un paese che adesso sta affrontando un momento molto di difficile. Azara, can you tell us more about your experience as a mentor uh, with the team of Afghan robotics researchers? Um, hello everyone, uh, I would like to thank you for inviting us here. It is an honor to be present on behalf of all the Afghan Dreamers team and all the Afghan women who uh, unfortunately their voices cannot be heard today. And um, I'm really lucky to be here considering the country that I was born in and the gender that I was given. I, am, uh, I would like to give you a quick background about me. I'm a civil engineer. Initially, I started working with Roya uh, with the Digital Citizen Fund after my graduation from school. I was doing an internship. Uh, after that, during that time, I was really confused as an Afghan girl because the field that I was interested in was more for the men. It was the like, the men's job and girls should not get their hands dirty. I pursued my degree in civil engineering. And working with Digital Citizen Fund gave me hope that women in Afghanistan can do this. They can be an equal part of the community. We don't only, I mean, with full respect to every profession, but in Afghanistan, people believe that women should only work in very stable uh, environment. They should not go out on the field. So the first impact that working with this organization had on my life was clearing my own idea about my future. That made me decide that I have a hope in this field, which is mainly for men. And after pursuing my degree, I came back to Afghanistan, and by that time, they had already established the Afghan Dreamers team. And I found the potential of me being able to help these girls. Uh, with mentoring them in uh, mathematics and uh, giving them uh, guidance to use uh, design softwares for prototype preparation. Uh, that is my, my, my field of uh, activity. activity with the team. But during these years, I have been going through ups and downs with them. I want to tell you about how hard it has been for them to even simply take part in competitions. We had to go through a lot. We had to go through a lot of restrictions and we didn't have enough resources, but even then, I'm really proud that we were able to win several awards. And um, I would like to talk about one fact here. In Afghanistan, or even in the, in the world, women are not being given the chance unfortunately, as much as men are being given. But today we live in a world where we are in dire need of technology and scientific solutions. So ignoring the women would be like ignoring half of the population, half of the talent. What these girls showed us was that even though we come from a country where everything is not easily provided, but we can do it, we are capable. We are intelligent. They are the hope for other girls in the country at the moment. I'm very proud and I'm very happy to be part of their journey 
and we are currently working on projects and I really hope we will get the chance to take part in competitions in future and prove to the world that even with the bare minimum that we have in hand we are able to compete and we are even able to win. <laughs> yeah. Of course you are. Even with that. Of course, definitely. Yeah. That's all. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Azara ci ha raccontato appunto quanto possa essere eh, difficile eh, es non essere viste sostanzialmente perché io sono nata con un genere e mi sono anche messa a fare una cosa eh, che solitamente è riservata agli uomini e, e noi non veniamo neanche contemplate ma quando poi noi abbiamo l'opportunità di farlo noi ci siamo e possiamo anche vincere e proprio per quello che ha raccontato a Zara eh, vorrei chiedere eh, a Roy anche un po' Cosa possiamo fare? Uh, Roya, is it possible for us to help some way, even if we are so far away? How can we support? Um, thank you for the excellent thank questions. I mean, anything that you can do as a mentor, you can do helping us with mentorships, either you can help us with the financial resources or even technical resources. Uh, because I think that this is a very important time that we should not forget about millions of the kids that they are in Afghanistan. And right now they don't have the opportunity, they don't have access to quality of education. And Islam education can play an important role in education across the global, but also in impacting the national economy and global economy and it's a key component for having a higher productivity and uh, technology advancement and also research-based innovation and it's so important that our youth especially young girls have access to this quality of education today that can change their world and also be make a lay foundation for their futures thank you thank you thank you grazie grazie thank you for being here it's It was amazing and moving. <laughs> Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Thank you.